Philip Rabeck is the Director of Product Management of Audi of America. And Philip, we've seen a whole strew of e-tron cars from Audi. We've got yet another concept here. Where's this path leading to? Well, you know, concepts are always uh, meant to uh, show technical capability as well as test certain concept and get feedback from the public as well as yourself, press obviously. Uh, in this case, I think we're a little bit nearer uh, anything else, only in the sense that uh, um, this car is really meant for production. We've announced that 2018 is when this car will come, and we are actu actually in series development of this very car. Uh, one thing you may find very interesting is that from the point of view of the U.S. market, we were very closely involved with this product. We believe that absolutely it hits the sweet spot of where we want to be with this kind of car, and we're very excited to be part of this process. Give us some for instances of the technical aspects of the car. What really makes this the e-tron that it is? Well, obviously it's a battery electric SUV. Um, and uh, because it's an SUV, obviously we had to do a lot of work on aerodynamics. This show car is showing a 0.25 drag coefficient, which obviously for an SUV is, is the best. And um, uh, so with that, we really want to go into a uh, you know, volume market and we want to, of course, uh, have a car that has a strong range. So obviously way beyond 200 miles is the way we're thinking. Uh, that's what it needs to be in order to really have that kind of, um, to have that kind of uh, interest. From a performance standpoint, it's right around 500 horsepower, um, which obviously is a lot, but as you know, also in the electric world, the horsepower just translates a little bit differently. Um, and so uh, we really think of not only uh, uh, about high performance in a sort of a short burst, but also having that longevity and having that range that people in this segment will definitely demand. The CEO of Audi has said that what the company really needs is a Tesla fighter, something that's not just electric, but a performance electric vehicle. Is that what this is going to be? Yeah, and you know, our philosophy has always been not to have any compromises with electric driving. I think you see that with our first entry into the electric arena with the A3 e-tron uh, that we're launching just at the end of this year, uh, where we chose to have specifically a plug-in hybrid, uh, which has you know nearly 400 miles total range. So we're really making, a, I think, a logical pro progression step by step. And in this case, again, we wanted to make sure that you don't have any compromises. So you have plenty of performance, you have plenty of range, and you still have absolutely great packaging and an SUV, which obviously uh, is hugely popular. Very good, Philip Brabeck. Thanks so much for bringing us up to speed with the latest iteration of the e-tron. John, always a pleasure. Thank you very much. Very good. Keep tuning in. We've got even more coming from the floor of the Frankfurt Motor Show.